Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today I'm going to be talking about the differences between pool shock and um, just regular bleach. I'm going to be talking about just versus, you know, um, should you store uh, pool shock or should you store bleach? And really the answer isn't so clear cut, but what we want to look at with the bleach, first of all, is that it is regular bleach. Do not use scented bleach, okay? We also want to make sure that uh, the container looks good. There's no, you know, dings or anything. Make sure that you can see the expirations, all that. And also mark on the bottle as well, like when you bought it. Okay, I bought this on um, you know, 418, 2019 or whatever. Um, that'll help with expiration. The same with pool shock. Um, go ahead and write, you know, when you bought it, but um, make sure that the package looks good and, um, you know, there's no cuts or tears or, um, you know, it's not hard inside. And so once we get past that point, um, how do we disinfect with either of these? Well, first of all, I want to talk about the importance of storing pool shock and, um, bleach okay so when you store bleach you just store it in its regular container right and we store it um in under a uh locked cabinet and um, with pool shock we store it in a plastic container a sealed container um and we store that in a locked cabinet as well so as you can see you know some sort of sealed container like this plastic container is perfectly fine try to keep it in its original package try not to you know pour it out anywhere and um, you could also uh, store it in some sort of glass container again try to store it in its original package within the glass container and then just seal up the glass container um you know in just like a mason jar or something so um, either of those options would work you want to try to keep them in cool dry places and that can be really difficult um, for places in like the south like here in Texas where it gets hot right and you want to try to keep it you know away from the indoors but you know you can keep it like some in, in under a sink or something you know as long as it's sealed um, so I would recommend keeping them either in the garage, which will degrade um, the product, the chemicals a lot sooner, okay? So like pool shock has a shelf life of two to three years, right? But it could degrade faster if it's kept in a hot place like a garage or shed or something. The same with bleach. Bleach only really has a shelf life of about six months and then it'll start really degrading from there. Um, so try to keep them in cool places if you can, you know, keeping them in your home is fine, you know, as long as you have them in those sealed containers and then keeping them out of reach of children, of course, you know, like we have ours in a lot locked cabinet um and so so already you know the shelf life of pool shock treatment is great compared to bleach right but how do we actually make and purify water with um either the bleach or the pool shock okay so here's what we're going to do i'm going to put on the um picture here um, on the video exactly how to do it with bleach and then this is how you do it with pool shock so pay attention to these numbers okay and i'm going to put this below in the description box so you can copy and paste this somewhere because this is very important you will want a dropper when it comes to the bleach and with the pool shock what's interesting is that i've seen a few methods but the one that i felt was the most effective and i've made it myself this way is using one teaspoon of pool shock per gallon of water to actually make the chlorine solution okay so with pool shock you actually have to make the solution you don't pour the pool shock in straight into the water that you want to disinfect you're pouring the pool shock into clean water you know like a gallon of water that's from the store or something um, and then making the chlorine solution like you're making your bleach solution and then you're going to disinfect the water so you use three uh, quarters of an ounce of the pool shock solution that you just made to treat a gallon of water and that makes it pretty easy to calculate regardless of the size of your container some may use different methods uh, with the pool shock I have seen different methods but this seems to be a very easy method to use and remember um, so just make sure that you are paying attention to how you are making this stuff and how much or how little you are using. And make sure that you are using safety precautions as well. Always use proper gloves, a mask, um, you know, eyewear, 
you know, bleach, you know, using bleach and pool shot can be, you know, they are toxic. They can't, not that they can be, they are t- caustic and you want to make sure that you're just taking proper safety precautions. So that's essentially it, the difference between pool shock. Pool shock makes a solution um, and then you use that solution to disinfect the water and then the bleach is just ready to go. But it's really up to you about which one you want to use or store. You can do both, you know, it's totally up to you. But um, I hope that this was helpful. I'm going to have um, some of that information down below in the description box and copy paste that somewhere. And uh, you could even write it down and tape it to the, the bleach or the pool shock, you know, whatever's going to work for you. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today.